It's that time of year again when you could come across a snake in your yard or even inside your house. Right. But what do you do if you see a one a little too close for comfort? Is it legal to kill snakes in Georgia? Sarah Hammond checked Georgia law and spoke to Daniel Solenberger with the Department of Natural Resources to verify. It's moving. Jenny Prater and her family got a big surprise when they walked into their dining room. There's a huge snake that's curled around one of the bird feeders on our window. And I came running in to see why he yelled, oh my goodness, and it's at least four or five feet long. She says her husband, Kasunas, immediately recognized it as a non-venomous rat snake. So we just tapped on the glass and looked at it and hung out for a while. And he was really friendly. And he looked at kids. And it was uh, actually kind of cool. But for those of you that think the only good snake is a dead snake, is it legal to kill snakes in Georgia? Well, according to Daniel Sollenberger with the Department of Natural Resources, it depends. We have a, a law in Georgia that protects all non-game wildlife. Uh, and that includes non-venomous snakes. According to Georgia law, you could be charged with a misdemeanor for killing a non-venomous snake, or it can land you in jail and cost you a pretty penny of $1,000. The only reason venomous snakes aren't included is that there's a separate law that makes some exceptions. He says there are six species of venomous snakes in Georgia, so more often than not, the snake you're seeing is non-venomous. But for your own safety, he says you should learn what those six look like. Uh, the average person probably knows dozens or maybe even scores or hundreds of um, logo company logos and things by sight instantly learning a handful of snakes uh, you, you can do it so we can verify that it is illegal to kill non-venomous snakes in Georgia but you can legally kill the venomous ones however Sollenberger says unless they pose an immediate threat it's best to just leave them all alone in Macon Sarah Hammond 13 WMAZ News now although there is a punishment for killing non-venomous snakes Sollenberger says DNR law enforcement officers say it's difficult to prosecute and depends on the county court system and the judge involved